Well, hello and welcome to this quick and dirty Blender tutorial for GNLT.be um, and I'm going to show you something really simple and easily to reproduce in uh, Blender today with some uh, decent results and we are going to create a helium atom in space or nerd smile as I like to call it um, yeah and we are going to do this in Blender 2.6 261.4 is my current version. If you have an older version, get the latest build from uh, graphicall.org or uh, builderblender.org or wherever you like. And we are going to do this in cycles. And uh, yeah, I loaded my default scene here now with the default factory settings. So everything should be the same for you when you start Blender. And I'm going to start by removing the cube and removing the default lamp over there and our helium atom is going to have uh, two neutrons and two protons orbited by two electrons and uh, then we, we will have a background plane with, with a map spacey background texture for our final result and um, we are going to duplicate our helium atoms a couple of times place it in the scene and do some compositing and that's going to be it so let's get started and I'm going to start by adding a sphere here set it to smooth and scale it a lot down Check, yeah something like that and I'm going to duplicate this sphere like this three times and now I'm going to add the curve or a circle and another circle and I scale this one up a little bit and I'm going to duplicate uh, this sphere now and grab it on X position somewhere here do that again somewhere here and well actually I add one more circle now scale that down a little bit already and Go to my options over here and set the bevel object to the circle I just added. It should be this one, and I'm going to scale this one down by quite a bit. Let's move it somewhere over here and scale it all the way down. Until it's really, really slim. Um, yeah, like this. Maybe even more. Yeah, like this. <clears throat> so we use the same bevel object over here so and that's our basic helium atom already let's add the background plane scale it up by two uh, maybe maybe 1.5 more like this and go into edit mode select everything and unrub that so we can map our image uh, to it later on and for now, yeah, also we should move this down a little bit, grab it on Z, move it down something like this. So, and next thing is uh, going to be we scale this down quite a bit. Mm, oh, actually, yeah, no, scale this down. Oh, well, no. Let's parent the spheres to the orbits first. And let's uh, assign some materials. Uh, maybe change the render engine to cycles now. And we call this uh, red. It's going to be our red emission material. We are, we are just um, we are using just emission materials, nothing fancy. So make this to a red color, strength one. This is our red. This is going to be blue. Call this blue. Make it some blue. So emission, and we leave the strength at one. So this is going to be a red one as well. This is going to be a blue one. Then uh, we make this the same blue one. And for the orbit, we use this, oh, we use this material, call it orbit, change it 
to a mission. Make this a somewhat lighter blue <coughs> strength at one. And this is going to use the orbit material as well. Alright, now that we got this sorted, we select all of it again and scale it down quite a lot. Then we duplicate everything a couple of times. We have enough space here. Alright, so we select the camera next, uh, clear rotation location on the camera, and uh, grab it on Z a little bit. So now, maybe we zoom back in a bit more. So now we have our basic scene set up, and uh, what we do now is we rotate the orbits around on different axes to add a little bit of randomness to our scene. So do whatever you like here. Rotate on X, rotate on Y, rotate on X, rotate on Y, uh, rotate on X, rotate on Y, rotate on X. Something like this, maybe. Yeah, so I should change this to GPU. Let's see. Alright. Also, I'd want to enable this here, although not really necessary for this scene in particular. And uh, back into the top view, we select our plane, and we all had, uh, already unwrapped it, so uh, we just assign new material, which is also going to be a mission, believe it or not, and we make it an image texture. And I'm going to use uh, a free. Uh, spacey texture I found on the net. It's called Cool Green Nebula, and it's really cool, as you can see. Yeah, I really love this texture. All right, now we have some stars over here, and that's going to give us a cool effect uh, in the final render. We have a lot of uh, flashy, bright spots and cool green plasma like uh, stuff it's a green nebula maybe rotate this uh, whoops. rotate this a little I don't like the stars on this side hmm yeah like this maybe yeah this is going to do quite nicely. So uh, the, the preview render doesn't look like much, as you can see. That's okay. We go back into solid wire. Actually, never mind. Um, I can't render by pressing F12, but I want to render, so I do it this way, and because my recording would stop. So this is our preview render now, and now we go to the note editor over here. Enable notes and backdrop. Add a viewer. Now we do the magic. So we're going to add a mix. We need this one pretty soon. And we add some RGB curves. I'm going to add a blur. Set this on fast Gaussian. And do 6 by 6. And this is the first effect we are going to create. Pretty much. Um, yeah, so let's do the contrast over here. Something quite low, but not too low. Yeah, something like this maybe. And then let's fiddle around with the colors over here. Reduce the green to something we like. Let's do the 
too much maybe uh, increase the red increase the blue so we get this nice glowy stuff going for our atoms and yeah that's Let's see how this is going to look. So we're going to take this and overlay it and or add it to our original image with a factor of 0.5. Maybe just the other way around and yes. So this looks quite nice already, or a lot better than before at least. And uh, now after this um, we, we are going to insert a uh, glare and a distort lens distortion filter. One of my favorites. This one uh, you, you can add a, a concave a convex effect by using the distortion value over here, um, and you can add distor uh, dispersion. And uh, the dispersion is quite heavy on the compositing, but takes like ages. You you will see. And we actually not uh, we need we don't need much of this, but we make this like a subtle uh, minus 0.15. So we have only a very subtle effect from this one. And uh, the dispersion we will crank up quite a bit, but we fill in the glare before. Uh, quickly in front of this. So the threshold and the glare we put to something really really low like a point zero <coughs> nine five and we put this to ghost because we want ghosts and too low quality too low iterations down to two that will do and the color modulation also I'll fiddle around with it if you like, I don't really like what it does, so I'm gonna put it down to zero. You know, on color modulation, and yeah, doing a good job. So now the heavy dispersion effect, and we're gonna crank this up quite a bit by uh, 0.55, and uh, we add one more RGB curve. Uh, RGB curves end of this chain here and we want it to contrast quite a bit oh that's maybe a bit too much and now we increase the red and lower the green a little bit and the blue quite a bit as well mm, yes I think this will do and yeah then we connect this one to the composite and that's basically it guys so Crank the quality up to 100% HD and let's render this one more time. So, guys, that's basically it. I hope you learned something and enjoyed the tutorial a little bit. Um, so, that's it from me. Happy blending and uh, see you next time.